This is a cheese I've uh, loved for many years. Uh, it's made by some uh, Dutch expats living in County Cork, in Southwest Ireland, Cowsville. I believe it's almost all Holstein Frisian uh, cows at this farm. It's a Gouda type. Being Dutch expats, that's what they knew. No? And uh, as a category, the Gouda types, of course, one of the most popular cheese types in the world. And they also have great keeping qualities. Uh, this one's aged, I believe, about nine months, it looks like. We label our cheese here because sometimes they look kind of alike. What I just did uh, after this clean film, I just took it off. Is This is something that we do, we call facing cheese. It's, uh, it removes any extra excess of plastic off the outside. You don't have to take off much. Um, for the next cut, you know, also known as a guillotine. Um, see these holes in it? Uh, these holes uh, are they're nice round holes uh, instead of little slits or odd shapes. Uh, these are a little different. Uh, but not too problematic. Uh, these are better. What it means is that during the curing process, the cheese makers, the Willems, they, uh, they made sure they flipped the cheese frequently. And so the holes are formed by carbon dioxide. Uh, and that's what the, uh, the, the bacteria, the beneficial bacteria, that's what they uh, leave behind. So, Carbon dioxide, it gets stuck in the body of the cheese and forms the surface. I'm just going to take off a very slim wedge because this cut is so beautiful. Uh, generally, with a thin cut like this, after I faced it, this is the kind of cut that will melt in your mouth. It's the way a lot of you know, Swiss type cheeses are, are cut. Very creamy. Mmm, so smooth, uncomplicated. It's easy to love. And uh, I think it's even better than the first time I tasted it years and years ago. Now I have to get it back in.